All right, well, welcome to another show of Relentless Reviews. I am your host, as always, Joshua Englander, and today I'm going to be reviewing The Darkness 2, a game I've been long waiting for. So, does the satisfaction of using the power of the darkness still exist as a big-time satisfaction in the long-awaited sequel from the 2007 version? Does the story live up to the first one? Is the main protagonist, Jackie, still a fantastic character to play as? Can this comic book-style video game bring the series to greatness, or does it land flat on its face? Well, let's check out the trailer. I never asked for the darkness. It chose me. Gave me its power. But like everything else, it came with a price. Jackie, this was not your fault. And now... It's mine to control. We've come for the darkness, Jackie. Give it to us! You want it? <laughs> come and get it. All right, so first of all, one of the things I really, really liked about the game were the graphics. Now, a lot of people were sort of mixed about them. Some people were saying, oh, the graphics, not very up to par with today's sort of games. But, you know, you look at the style that it mentioned, uh, it had sort of a comic book feel to it. I think that fit really well because this is based off a graphic novel. So I feel like it was really nice to see 2K use that kind of ability to have a comic book style video game and put that in and use that as its engine power. Because I feel like that because it gives it that kind of unique style, you don't need to have like the best kind of little graphical interfaces like for a game like Battlefield 3, which has like amazing sunlight rays, for example. You don't really need those kinds of little things to make the graphics look amazing. I think just the style alone made the graphics look very unique and I think that that was a really big plus for me. Also what I really liked, the power of the darkness is hugely upgraded and the first one, well, let me just say the first darkness is one of my favorite games from 2007, didn't sell very well and I think that was because that even though you could use this power that the darkness gave you, it wasn't all that exciting, really you didn't have to do much, you, you know besides like eating hearts and doing all kinds of little things, there wasn't much to use with the darkness in the first one. But in the second one, you can use them a lot more now to kill guards in some really grim and gruesome ways. I gotta tell you something, if you are, you know, I feel like if you're under the age of 15 at least, you shouldn't be playing this game, but it's a lot of, a lot of fun to be able to use the darkness a lot more. When I found myself playing the game, I didn't really use my weapons all that much because, again, it's just so much fun uh, to use the darkness when you have the ability to. Also, the combat feels excellent. And again, it goes back to what I was saying about the darkness feeling. They really seem to focus in the second one to make the combat feel a lot better than the first one. And again, I think that was a huge selling point for the second one. And hopefully that means that more people will be attracted to the franchise. But I think that that was really good to see. The controls felt great. The enemies were a lot of fun to kill. I mean, you really did hate the bad guys in this game. And I think that, that was really, it was really fun to be able to take them out the way you could with the darkness abilities. You could upgrade those darkness abilities. That was all really good. However, though... The single player campaign was very short. I beat it in about six hours, and what's unfortunate is because it's such a short campaign, I mean, you consider the story basically being as good as the first one, it really was disappointing them to really see if they could maybe drag that out to at least eight or ten hours, and it basically is only on par with a Call of Duty style single player campaign length, which is disappointing. They've had about five years to develop the sequel, so it was really disappointing to see. Also. Multiplayer-wise, there's a co-op mode called Vendettas mode. Very disappointing. Basically, you play as four different characters other than Jackie, and you don't have the same abilities. Yes, you have 
special kinds of abilities to help you through that mode, and it is fun, but it was very disappointing that you couldn't use anything like the darkness uh, in that sense that Jackie could use in the single player, because that's when you're playing, that's how you sort of feel like, oh wow, these tentacles are awesome, I really want to be able to use these, you know, in multiplayer or something like that. So I, if I were them, I would have just incorporated a multiplayer mode where you could basically use the tentacles to your advantage and see if you can kill uh, online players that way. I think that would have been awesome. Too bad they couldn't do that. But, I mean, it's not the worst co-op mode, but it's still very disappointing. And honestly, Vendetta's mode doesn't add that much value to a very short single-player campaign. So, I mean, overall, this game is still solid. I think it's an excellent game, but, again, the value there is not that great for $60. It's a short single-player. Even though it's a lot of fun, the story is very excellent. A short single-player co-op isn't that great, but I think it's fair I'll give it an 8.5. It deserves an 8.5 because... And when you consider the elements that they do have there, they are very, very good. And they're very well done. 2K did an excellent job with the sequel. I don't know if it's as quite as good in, or original as the first one, but they really enhanced some of the things you could do on that. So it's a very good game. I don't know if it's worth getting there for $60, but it's definitely at least a rent. Maybe wait till the price goes down on it. But it's a very good game. So uh, that's another show for Relentless Reviews. Remember to follow me on Twitter. Uh, remember to subscribe, like the video. I always enjoy that. Uh, thank you so much for watching, everybody.